Uh, hello folks, um, welcome to another video. Today we are looking at uh, Latin VFR's San Juan Scenery Enhancement for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Um, it's midday, summertime, June, clear skies. I thought I would um, open this up so you get a good open view of the airport and the way it looks. Um, my initial impressions, well it's useful for me because the moment I opened this scene, this airport up as default it was covered in pink tarmac. Um, I still suffer from that pink texture problem. I don't know what the answer is. If anybody knows the answer I'd be happy to know in the comments. Um, but replacing it with the Latin VFR San Juan scenery has removed it all and given me the view that you're looking at now. Um, <clears throat> first impressions, the scenery is good. It's obviously an improvement on um, what I had before, and it's probably an improvement generally. There are some issues. Um, the issues I have really are issues of low quality. Expect a lot more from a scenery developer like Latin VFR. There seems to be quite a few things missing from a top-notch scenery that I kind of expect to see. However, that said, um, the ambience of the place is excellent. The beachfront here they've done a lot to improve this um, with the hotels um, probably the biggest problem I think is low resolution ground textures we'll have a look at that in a bit anyway let's have a look around the airport um, generally and you can see what I mean <coughs> so we're looking at the gates um, which great and the tarmac itself is, is quite good it's um, you can see the um, wear marks, tire marks on the tarmac which look good, the buildings look fine gates themselves look decent quality moving across the tarmac there looks, um, looks fine ground markings are excellent we've got vehicles, we've got aircraft parked in various locations some custom buildings there have been added which is nice still got the custom vehicles um, moving around which is good um, some of you will have noticed the um, static aircraft here um, the liveries are because I've actually got Megapack installed so you're getting the different liveries private aviation buildings there some cars parked around yeah buildings look quite nice quality is good as you can see the um, parking areas, jetways, lots of ground clutter looking quite nice, that's what you'd expect and going across the taxiways here you can see um, nice little touches, little effects taxiway and uh, runway signs are in place We rise a little higher, <coughs> so we're crossing the um, one of the two runways. You can see they've done some work as well to some of the buildings and areas on the edge of the airfield, hotels, signs. Looking quite nice. I believe this is runway 10, just to the left of us. There's the main highway. Haven't looking in the other direction. So control tower looks nice, um, it's not done or developed inside unfortunately, no detail inside the tower, but uh, no, that's fine, that's okay. <coughs> so here looking at the tops of the buildings you can see air conditioning units other bits and pieces road signs, this is the um, the road that goes into the terminal area looks okay not much in the way of traffic on it so 
So interestingly enough here, ground textures look okay. They look quite nice. Okay, they're not high resolution, but they work well with what we've got here. So here's a couple of little anomalies here. You see you've got this road going into the building, but it literally just stops at the building edge. It's not terribly well defined. Um, and again, you know, these are okay. Everything looks pretty fairly basic. There has really hasn't been a huge attempt to develop this and make it look really detailed, if you will. Things are pretty blocky. Road signs, yeah, this is all stuff that wasn't here before and I applaud the fact that they've done this work no problem at all but maybe is it me I don't know maybe I expected a bit more you see here the roads don't quite match up there are little mounds here and there that maybe are there at the real field I don't know get the feeling there's something missing here but I'm not sure um, I don't know this airport very well I don't live in that area I'm in the UK so obviously I'm not an expert So let's go a little bit further and you can see here also we've got <laughs> kind of something of a mismatch it just it doesn't um, the, the work hasn't it looks like it all hasn't been completed and here it's mismatched not really sure I guess I don't know, maybe I was hoping for something better. The, the skill and the quality of Latin BFR's developers are well known. Um, they work in P3D, FSX. It's testament to how good this, this organisation is. But um, I don't know, maybe it's early days for them with Flight Sim 2020. This works, um, but it looks like they've done the minimum to get something out. So just tracking across the scenery, yeah, this looks nice, it's okay. Nice touches here. Foliage looks great, let's go up a little bit. Again, you can see the bridge and the road, it really hasn't been matched properly. But, you know, kudos, that this all is filled with detail. That um, definitely isn't really that well developed in the default. Now, talking about low resolution ground textures, here you can see just, um, you know, you, you've got a swimming pool here that looks like it's been blocked down on top of it. Buildings are really kind of square and shaped. I mean, they're, they're, they're obviously better than they were before. But um, this is all pretty basic stuff. Let's go and have a little bit further look towards the beach here. Again, low resolution textures here. Even the roads, the motorways aren't that well developed. Maybe this is outside the scenery area, I'm not certain entirely. So let's go down the beachfront. So again, we use low resolution ground textures. Buildings are fairly basic they might be stock again I'm not entirely sure how much of this is default and how much has been ad adapted or updated by that in VFR I think they've done some work on some of these but it looks okay but it just looks basic. It looks, you know, the minimum has been done. Cruise ships out in the distance there. So taking a look at the airport from a slightly higher elevation. It 
you know it looks fine it looks it looks good it's got everything you need and um, you know it's fine it's excellent I just there just feels like there's something missing that really makes it top-notch yeah it's worth the price um, recommend it particularly in my view because I've just got pink textures all over the place hesitate to show you an image of what that looked like there's the VOR station down there on the left this is the military airport part of the airport here and this is the whole area looks nice it's a nice part of the world the beaches and the people down here very nice so let's have a look at the airport at dusk okay so here we are in the evening at dusk again in the summer we're just looking as, uh, as, um, as the sun's pretty much just about to go down. The lighting looked good. You, you, to be honest, the airport looks a lot better at dusk. Um, the lighting makes it uh, really come to life a little bit more. There's the sun setting in the distance. Ground lighting is um, on the stands is quite nice. Trying to understand really if there's any jetways missing here, I don't know. Let's just go tracking along here. As you can see, the lighting there in the centre, the, the way the buildings are lit, just lo it looks fine. It looks very nice. It does look a lot nicer when it's lit up at night. And here you've got the roadway lights again. It just makes it look better, in my opinion. And there you can see traffic in the distance. So there's a wide angle shot of the airport looking down runway 10 and runway 08. Looking towards the east. The lighting generally around the whole area looks really nice. Some of the areas here where the buildings are on the coast are lit, some aren't, some are still pretty dark, a lot of the buildings are quite dark. If we just take a wander over there. As you can see some of the, so there's some lighting on some of the buildings. It's quite subtle which is quite nice. Some of the buildings have hardly any lighting at all. Again, as I said, we have low resolution ground textures some of the lighting on that makes the ground textures look a lot better down here for example so here we are on the beach front where we've got all the um, people still out on the beach here Just tracking across the airport a little bit faster. Ambience is really nice. So let's have a look at the dead of night. <coughs> okay, so now it's 9 p.m. local time, again in the summer at night time. And uh, yeah, again, very well lit. You've got this kind of a, oh, I don't know what you would call it. It's psychedelic maybe sort of yellowish glow again uh, I don't know what the real airport is like so I don't know how accurate it is but it looks interesting let's do a little bit of tracking across here you can see the buildings you've got um, um, what you can see inside there is nothing actually inside the buildings have not been done internally but the reflections here what you can see you get the illusion of seeing what's what's going on inside Let's move across here. Control tower is not lit. It would have been nice to see some glowing up there from maybe the radar screens. Well, the lighting effects showing what might be on the inside of the buildings looks nice. So again, we've got a good idea here of the lighting effects on the buildings, the trees. Let's go up a little bit. The car park there is nicely lit. 
again ambience looks nice it's 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 fine I don't know maybe I'm being too critical the airport looks really wonderful at dusk and at night time taxiways are lit um, you can see the signage interesting there that you've got the main terminal area and the gates and everything and the freight area to the south to, to the um, the east here is is lift lit in a different way lots to look at and enjoy visually quite pleasant so let's have a look at dawn so it's dawn now, 4.45 a.m. local time. Still got some lighting effects going, which is good. Visually looks really quite nice. Just come up a bit higher and have a look at things generally. So there's the sun just coming up. As you can see there's a hint of the uh, ground lighting. Let's just increase the daylight a little bit. So that was 4.45, we're now at 4.52. So seven minutes later and you can see pretty much all of the ground lighting has disappeared now. You've now got the sun reflections on the buildings, which is quite nice. Just a quick look at this. Um, slightly unusual building here this looks like um, a baggage drop area got a couple of stands there that's a nice picture it's looking nice as we track you can see um, Visually it looks really quite nice, you've got an ambient lighting as the sun comes up. The whole area looks quite nice. So let's go back to the daytime, let's go up to about say 9, 9 o'clock. So actually what I've done is I've gone to about 6.30, I haven't gone so high so the sun still isn't really high in the sky. But nice to see the reflection of the sun. So there we are, just coming out away from the airport to the west. Let's come right back and you can have a, a, a grand look at the grand scheme of things. To about there. So, visually, it looks fine. Is it worth the cost? Yes, it is. Do I still think Latin VFR are a good developer? Yes, of course I do. Um, their work is excellent. Um, I'm not disappointed with this airport or with the purchase because it clearly solves a problem for me and obviously if you've got suffering from pink checks textures it will solve the same problem for you um, and it would be a nice place to visit it's a two and a half hour hop from Miami and I ain't trying gonna try and do that flight so that you can see a landing here um, coming up this coming weekend uh, the 14th of March <coughs> Um, it may happen, hopefully it will. There has been a little issue with the A320neo due to the recent update 3. But um, assuming I can solve that and everything works out okay, then I will be flying and recording Miami to uh, San Juan in the A320 
Neo to go with this review um, scenery. So in summary, yep, there are some low resolution ground textures. There are places on the airport where it looks like it's unfinished, where it hasn't really been tidied up to make it a really great um, product. But it's more than adequate. I would recommend buying it, especially if you want to fly out this way. Um, there's more to explore. The Caribbean is an am amazing place. And I'd certainly fly long haul out here. So there you go folks, <coughs> uh, thank you for joining me on this. This has been a review of the recently released scenery for San Juan in Puerto Rico, Tango Juliet, Sierra Juliet, released by Latin VFR for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Um, overall impressions are very good. Um, give me a shout in the comments um, below what you think, especially anybody who lives out here and knows the airport well and see what um, how close it is to reality. It'd be interesting to see what you think. And again, thank you for your time. And to the people who, to the 50 people who have subscribed, um, my sincere thanks to you all. It's fantastic. Um, next target is to try and get to 100 subscribers. But in the meantime, this has been Lee from ButcherAirlinePilot.org, a review of us, another scenery review in flights in 2020. Um, if all goes well, hopefully look out for um, a flight from Miami to San Juan MP3D in the A320, A320 Neo coming this weekend, March the 14th, along with this video, and um, hopefully that will help you as well. So um, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Um, costs you nothing, but really helps my channel. Um, I also do a, a at least one video every Sunday usually, sometimes more, sometimes in the week, or as much as I can do. Um, I've got plenty of other videos for you to have a look at, so by all means have a look at them. Um, <coughs> I do adventures in Flights in 2020 and Prepare 3D. I also have a website, virtualairlinepilot.org. Go across there. Um, if you check out the About Me page, you can find out more about who I am, what I've did before and um, what I'm trying to do with this and um, usually on the main page I tell you what's going on or what's happening on the, the coming Sunday um, all subject to change of course so once again thank you very much for joining me this is Lee saying goodbye for now and um, see you in the next video or in the next adventure bye for now <laughs>